The first AI synth soldering station with integration, intelligent and networking worldwide. T320 Precision Soldering Station. Unbox T320. It includes a host, a power cord, a grounding wire, a T210 handle and a metal bracket, a C210K tip, and a screw. Connect the T210 handle to the host. Connect the grounding wire. Connect the power cord. Turn on the switch of T320 to start it. We can see the main interface of T320. The product model is displayed on the upper left corner. Further to the right are the version number and boot time. Further to the right are the Wi-Fi and the temperature inside the case. The current temperature is 34 degrees Celsius. The one on the right is the buzzer of the soldering station. Besides, T320 supports remote upgrade and OTA upgrade. Connect the Type-C cable to the computer. Then connect the other end to T320. Download AISEN software from AISEN official website. Open AISEN software. It will recognize the T320 automatically. Now we can see the latest version is 1.05. When a new version is released in the future, select the version you want to upgrade to. Click Upgrade, and it will be upgraded to the selected version. The handle model T210 is displayed on the right of the main interface. The most prominent number in the middle indicates the real-time temperature of the soldering tip. The progress bar on the left represents the power of T320. When the handle leaves the holder, the temperature of the tip rises sharply. Power rises rapidly, too. The power will stabilize based on the temperature. Put the handle back to the holder. Power drops to zero. The three numbers at bottom refers to the temperature shortcut channels. Press M1-3 button to switch among three temperatures quickly. There is a metal touch sensor on the lower right corner of T320. Touch the metal sensor once to switch between standby and heating modes. Touch the metal sensor twice to switch among the temperature shortcut channels. Long touch the metal sensor to heat up continuously. Touch and hold on the metal sensor for cooling constantly. Press set to enter the curve interface of T320. The red number on the left refers to the temperature. The green number on the right represents power. The blue number below represents the time. Pick up the handle, the curve rises quickly. The power rises sharply and then drops steadily. Put the handle back and the temperature drops. Press set to exit the curve interface. Temperature. Long press the set button to enter the settings interface. Select temperature. The first option of temperature is unit. We can switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Press M1-3 to go back. The second option is channel. Users can set the temperature shortcut according to their needs. Back to home interface. We can see that the required temperature has been set at the bottom of the home interface. Switch to Compensate. Users can compensate for the temperature difference based on the actual temperature of soldering tip. A digital thermometer is needed during temperature calibration. Firstly, set the temperature of the soldering tip to 300 degrees Celsius. Place the soldering tip on the triangle thermocouple of the digital thermometer. It can be seen that the actual temperature of the soldering tip is 305 degrees Celsius. Set temperature compensation to minus 5 degrees Celsius. Press set for temperature compensation. Then insert the soldering tip into the triangular thermocouple. The actual temperature of the soldering tip now is 300 degrees C. It is the same as the temperature displayed on the host the temperature calibration complete. Standby. Back to the setting options and select Standby. Select Temperature to set the temperature of standby mode. Here we set it to 150 degrees Celsius. Back to the main interface and we will see that the standby temperature is 150 degrees Celsius. Turn off standby temperature. The soldering tip enters normal temperature state during standby. You can also set the delay. After placing the handle into the holder, it will enter into standby mode automatically when reaching the delay time. Here we set the delay time to 10 seconds. Pick up the handle, heat it and then put it back. 
We can see that the soldering tip goes into standby mode after 10 seconds. Set sleep time. Here we set the sleep time to 1 minute. Back to home interface. It will enter energy saving mode if there is no operation within the set time. Pick up the handle to wake up the host and enter heating mode. System. Select System. The first option is Language. We can switch between Chinese and English here. The second option is Sound. It is turned on by default. If it's turned off, the station will enter mute state. The third one is Wi Fi. Open AI Sin software. Click Wi Fi. Select the Wi Fi to be connected with and click Connect. Enter password. Click Confirm to connect to Wi Fi. The fourth is Screensaver. We can select weather and customize it here. Now we set it as showing weather after entering standby mode for 5 seconds. Back to the main interface, and it enters the weather interface after entering standby mode for 5 seconds. The fifth one is Reset. It includes Restore All. We can restore all settings of the device. Reset Temperature. Click Confirm. Back to Home Interface. The temperature has been restored to the default value. Reset Language. Restore to the default language. Reset Standy. Restore to the default standby setting. The sixth is Time. We can see the booting time and the total working time of the T320. The seventh is System Info. Here it includes System Version. In Service, we can find the Customer Service Hotline and Official Website. In Produce, it's shown as October 16, 2023. The 8th is Check Update. The latest version is V1.05. When there is a new version, choose Update. The 9th is Contact. If there is any problem, users can scan the QR code to check the corresponding website and join in WeChat group. The 10th is More. To learn more about AISIN products and information, Scan the QR code to enter related platforms of AI Sun. T320 is the world's first integrated, intelligent and networking soldering station. AI Sun will lead the development of technology and be far ahead. Turn off T320. That's the end of the operation video of T320. To learn more about AI Sun products and software updates, Please follow AISEN YouTube channel or official website www.aixuntech.com.